Hi, today we're going to talk about Fuxao or subduing hand and where we go from there. I've had a lot of requests asking for this. Today we're going to do it. Okay, so the basic Fuxao, the wrist should be on the center line. The elbow should be inside the shoulder to wrist line and the forearm should be roughly parallel to the floor. Okay, the contact point is actually the bottom of the wrist here where the bony part is on the opponent's arm. Okay, now if I bring a partner in, okay, so my Fuxao, the wrist should be on the center line. That's this point here. The bone is the contact point for the opponent's arm. And because this is on the center line, this doesn't allow my opponent to strike from here without being obstructed by my foot. So as he strikes, I'm in the way. You see, I can walk forwards and he's actually missing me. Okay, so the appropriate actions from here would be if my opponent's arm drops, I should strike immediately. If my opponent pushes outwards, I shun and I come inside. Okay, if my opponent has a stiff arm, I can juts out, pulling the opponent off balance. This is exposes them to a blow. Also, if my opponent palm strikes me in the chest, I can wu sao. Okay, so literally with wu sao, I don't press as he comes towards. I don't go downwards. I don't retract and I don't go forwards. With a Wu Sao, all I do is I lift the fingers. Okay, so again, he strikes, lift the fingers. Okay, now from here, I have a straight line shot because my opponent is fully extended. It's harder for him to defend himself. I can hit. Okay, but I could also use a Jut Sao. The Jut Sao is better for pulling the opponent off balance. Again, rendering them open to strike. And I could Jump Sao. So my opponent strikes, I Jump Sao. This brings my arm closer to the opponent's arm, so now I can go into my next blow from there. Okay, I hope this has helped. I'll see you soon.